All is fair in love and marriage Discussing everything from A to Z Cause that's the way it's supposed to be, yeah All is fair in love and marriage We may agree to disagree But in the end we know it's you and me, yeah And as you can see, we are not alone. No, we got our friends here with us kicking it. We got Alan and Courtney Knight here. Hi, guys. <laughs> the business Man. gurus, enterprise gurus. The goats, the goats, the goats. Yes. Appreciate you. The inspiration. Yeah. Thank um, you. Before, before we start, before we get into anything, Court is going to say a quick little prayer. I'm gonna be quick because she already just got on me for being too right. long with her last week. <laughs> so Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for this time that we're allowed to come together. God, just the fellowship in the commune, God. But God, we thank you, God, that you're going to give fresh insight, God, fresh wisdom and knowledge as it pertains to marriage, even on a entrepreneurship level, God. We thank you and we appreciate you and we invite you in even now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you. Amen. Amen. That was nice. Amen. Short and sweet. I'm not saying we gotta pray long, but <laughs> right, yes. I see mom and pop is tuned on. What's yes, going on? Hi, right, family. Yeah. Love y'all. Um, hey, y'all. So for all this fair and love and marriage, we have our proclamation that we created <laughs> like a month ago. We had we had one, but it wasn't. It was kind of like just a go at it. Yeah. But now something official. Um, we have we are one, uh -huh. but we are. Two, uh -uh. it is fair to see as two different individuals. Yes. I'm reading it. Um, <laughs> we will be transparent to learn, to love deeper, to grow, mm -hmm. and to go. Um, That's beautiful. Role, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> our goal is really to just be as transparent as we can be um, to help other marriage married couples and to help those that want to be married and okay. you know kind of teach from experience and not really even teach, not even teach but, but just, just to share what we know yeah i mean yeah right well like at, in the beginning of our marriage we didn't really have many couples to look to yeah and so yeah. we kind of took it upon not they not took it upon ourselves but we felt the you know the push to you know kind of launch out and kind of pioneer that not to say that you know we're the ones that are right. taking the lead or anything but right, right. we wanted to be that for somebody else for sure. we didn't have that so. and we didn't we didn't get a push we got a kick guy <laughs> kissed us in the butt yeah <laughs> said, go go um so guys that are tuning in the night yeah. alan and yeah. courtney night um first tell okay. us your love story Okay, love story. <laughs> so, I actually was doing an event, and I had seen him near with one of his friends. So I'm like, oh my god, that boy is so cute! Like he is just so cute. He's so modest. I love the way he looked. Like his clothes are super fly. So I seen him. That was it. Now I used to love Twitter. Well, I still do love Twitter. Right. Like you'll catch me on Twitter more than you catch me on Facebook or Instagram. Right. Going in on so, the shopping. Right, right. <laughs> she lost, but that's another story for another day. Right, <laughs> so, y'all know how the song goes. It goes down in the in the DM. I uh -huh. it. I sent him a message in his DM, like, "Hey, Alan, like, my right. name's Courtney. Like, what do you do? Like, just right. inquiring about what he mm -hmm. did." So he's like, "Hey, like, I do music." I'm like, "Oh, me too." And he's right. like, "Oh, that's cool." I'm like, "Oh, hey, text me." So I sent my number. Just like that. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk to him. Now, I don't <laughs> see a problem with that. You know, some girls are like, I ain't hitting up, I'm not hitting up. Nope. Right. I ain't hit no him up. I hit, I sent him a DM like, hey, like, let's get up. Like you do music, I do music, let's hang out. Right. And then Well, she initiated. You know I what did. I'm saying? Like like she said, I'm more so meek, I'm quiet. I like to just observe and chill. Yeah. yeah. And and she didn't even know I had already noticed her before that. So I was while she was noticing okay. me, I was noticing her. I just didn't know how to go about starting it. Right. And that's right. that yin and yang. You know, they always say, you know, uh, 
a quiet person with a loud person. Oh, I'm loud. Mm-hmm. Yes, you definitely. Are. <laughs> like yeah. even now, if you're married, I'm like, I'm like, babe, you screaming? Like she be on the phone. Listen, you gotta have that balance. Like, ah. <laughs> like, bro, you screaming? But yeah, I peeped her. She seen me, and then she gave me her number, and I was just like, we just stayed in communication. Started off as friends. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely friends first. Yeah. And I, what we did was this whole, like, we had, like, um, like code names. So because she was so popular and I was so popular, we didn't want people to know that we were speaking. So I had her name in my phone under a code and vice versa. And we would just, we will be in the same place. We'd be at a concert or, or whatever and texting each other. And nobody would know. Because it wasn't everybody's <laughs> business. Yeah. Right. Period. Come on. Period. Right. Come on. And we can get into that oh, later goodness. on. But, you know, I had my son. I already had Cinco. You know, right. so I already was kind of prepped with how to go about doing it because I, I thought she was a prize. I'm like, why you ain't got to do it? Like, what's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no <laughs> I didn't know what the was. So I was just really trying to protect it, keep it honest and organic without people getting into it. We had so many friends that we knew if we went too public too soon, people was going to be like, yeah, you know, so. Right. That's pretty much it. We started off. She slid in my DMs. We started to check. We go down in the DM. And I love that. That was it. We just built from there. Come on, DMs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And I've seen, uh, of course, of course, I don't know who hasn't seen when you proposed to her. Man. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yo, I was so shocked. It was so, it was such an experience that it literally still blows my mind that right, right. he was even able to pull that off because I am so right. like on top of stuff. Mm-hmm. If I see any little thing that's out of place or if you're acting strange or right. if your vibe or mood is just off, I'm like, what's wrong? No, something's right. wrong. Like, and he literally pulled that like it completely <laughs> blew my mind. I was so shocked that I couldn't even hug him back. I'm like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> yeah, she was really in shock. Like, I, really, I really was. I pulled off the biggest okie doke like I call her family, said come through. I got the blessings from her parents first, all that in advance. That's crazy. Yeah, it was so crazy. When, the day he proposed, our pastor, we was going to say Bible at the time with Pastor uh-huh. Daryl Fair. And church was long. Like, I was ready to go. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, uh, come on. And then we had to do, like, testimonials because we were right. in um, Financial Peace University. Wait, let me tell. Let me tell. Mm. Okay. You tell it. <laughs> because that was a part. That was a part of the process. Like when I decided, it was like our second date. I was like, I'm gonna marry this girl. That's a dub. Like, and again, I just didn't understand how she was still available. So I was just right. like, you know, I'm not playing. Like, you know what I'm saying? So second date, she ain't say this yet, but I started crying like a little baby. He did, y'all. Like, I had like a little moment because <sighs> up until this point, we were recording, we were talking as friends. She was around my son. It was real natural, mm-hmm. easy go. It wasn't forced. Mm-hmm. Um, she had met my son's mother. She had met my mom. Just I was slowly but surely just going through different things on my checklist, and she was just right. killing it. So we had Fridays, and I'm just having a good, honest time with the girl, and just started like, like yo, <laughs> <laughs> just fold it. And then she picked it off my plate. Like, like she, she got her fork. So <laughs> <laughs> she got her fork picking off my plate while I'm crying. And I'm like, yo, you just special to me. I know it. In my mind, I knew I wanted to marry her then. So that's what's up. I began to seek the Lord about how, what's the precaution? And this goes into the balance. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I made up in my mind, like, this is it, right? And the way I look at it, when the Bible says when you find a wife, it's almost like when you decide, when you make a decision. Mm-hmm. That's how I interpret it. Oh, you want to preach? No, no, for real. It's like, I made a decision, like, <laughs> Okay, God, I found mine. Yeah. So yes. I was just like, you know, what should I do? What are the steps mm-hmm. I should take, you know, from here? And one of the steps it was financial literacy. Mm-hmm. So um, our church at the time, Greater Faith, was um, I was just waiting for the right opportunity. I didn't know where to go, how to sign up or anything. But like literally a few weeks later, our church set up a program for the members to go through a finance class. Mm-hmm. Wow. wow. And that's when I was like, this is it. Like that was God. Exactly. It was. And bro, listen, yeah. it was like it was like a six week, eight week. It was a long time. It was like an eight week. <laughs> <week. laughs> now mind you, we're not married. Right. We're, we're only dating. dating. But it's like I proposed, like I'm like, yo, 
my first proposal was this like yo can you can you follow me and do this can you yeah i want to take this finance class i think it would be dope if you took it too mm-hmm. she was like oh my god i hate school i hate doing this i like to spend money like she do y'all she do <laughs> <laughs> even still oh that's oh it must be a oh. <laughs> Oh. I like to spend money on a low. Oh. Right, right. <laughs> right. Like, my, my listen, money I spend, you can't even feel it. When I'm spending this, it's, it's, it's investment. I'm buying gear. It's, right. it's investment. Right. Yeah, That's I love it. to buy my stuff. Too. Shoes is an investment, too. <laughs> right. Well, look, look, so, it's like, so I had just talk with God. Like, yo, this is who I want. And I'm like, you know, he's like, let's wait. Over time, you'll see the right opportunity will present itself. I knew financial literacy is what I really wanted to have, you know, on the same page before I, I officially proposed. Mm-hmm. The church gave us the program. Mm-hmm. And over those six to eight weeks, I was just grinding it out. I had two jobs at the time. I was saving my little money. I was Man. consulting with, you know, you know, whoever I could. I was just like trying to ask them about marriage. Um, I asked their parents for their blessing. They said, cool. And then I talked to my pastor and said, hey, pastor, once we get our certificates, at the end, I want to give a special announcement, and I want to propose. And I think that's why he made service super long. Yeah, I had on flats. I was just so annoyed. Yeah. I'm just like, oh my god. Because it was like so one long. of the most packed <laughs> services we had. It's like because I had told all of our family, it was packed. You know, right. so you know how right. preachers get. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a packed house. He gone. <laughs> <laughs> he was there. Yeah, bro. Yeah. He was at overdrive. That's it. You yeah. know, once he completed, because you had to save, you had to. Um... It's the David Ramsey financial peace class. So if y'all okay. want to okay. look into yeah. it, yeah. or who's yeah. the viewers, definitely look into it because that's what really helped us jumpstart right. our like partnership towards each other. Yeah. Right. Like our teamwork. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was like we went through a course together that we both had to do certain individual, like it was my money and her money. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like she right. was being tested on my scores. Right. She had to pass. She had to get the certificate. Okay. Right. Like you had to save a thousand dollars. You had to pay off a certain amount of debt. Mm-hmm. X, Y, and Z. And when we both both passed, I'm like, this is it. I gotta propose because right. she had already cleared everything else on my list. I was just like, Can I build with you? Like, are you gonna spend all my money? You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> when she passed, she still spent on she still I don't know, you know yeah. she still kinda do it. <laughs> But she she did what she had to do, and I had to propose. I had to. It's amazing that you say that, um, because we talked about I, I want to say like three weeks ago, um, maybe 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 a little longer. Uh, Christine, when she asked you, oh, right, right, she right. asked him, "What was what is one thing that you would give as advice for someone who wants to get married, a man who wants to get married?" And right. that was the piece, right. you know, to have yeah, financial literacy. Yes, right. that is so important, y'all. Like, super important. Right. We I remember know. talking to my father-in-law, and one of my concerns was being a leader. You yeah. get what I'm saying? It's like, mm-hmm. as a single man, I, I had myself under control. I knew, you know, I could talk with myself. Mm-hmm. Hey, self, what right. you want to do? You want to <laughs> spend this money? Yeah, okay. Exactly. And that exactly. was it, right? But it's like, when I got counsel from her father in particular, I said, you know, how do, how do I know I'm, I'm going to be able to lead her? And how how do I know? And he was like, when you become a husband, you automatically become a leader. So it's just like, he kind of, wow. you know what I'm saying? He kind of humbled me and it made me feel like you don't have to force it. It's going to happen on its own. Mm-hmm. And that's really our love story. It kind of all just happened. Just yeah. like one thing after another. I didn't have to force anything. The money came for the ring. The ring that she wanted, I found. You know, wow. I... My minimum was her as far as her taking that class. She yeah. completed it. As much as she hated it, she came with me every Oof. Monday to that class for an hour. You know what I'm saying? We stopped, spending our, we stopped eating takeout as much as we did. And she passed. So it just forced me to man up and say, all right, I'm going to just go ahead and do it. That's awesome. So Appreciate the y'all. financial literacy kind of helped you guys jump into all of your business ventures. I sure. want to give you guys the opportunity. Tell us about Night Enterprises and everything it entails. Yeah. Woo. Okay. All right. So <laughs> Night Enterprises is definitely a conglomerate right. of everything that we have going on. Um, before I actually got married to, to him, 
I had my own music business, which was CS right. Management, Courtney Phillips Management. He had Greater Than Music, which was, woo woo, but yes, right. <laughs> which was his music company. Right. And we pretty much was competition, not really knowing that we were competition. So once we got married, we literally just put the record label under one umbrella, right. the Summers brand under one umbrella, mm -hmm. Wax and Go Go under one umbrella, um, social media under one umbrella, artist it's a, development. It's, a, it's literally the parent company. It's, it's literally the parent company. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody, yeah. little companies. <laughs> exactly. So, like, you have two different <laughs> dynasties coming together. You know, her mm -hmm. business. CF management was in honor of her maiden name and mine was in honor of my name, my enterprise, you know? So we had to figure out a way to, uh oh, yeah, still there? Yeah, we oh, froze. Okay. We had to figure out a way to bring them both together and night enterprise became that parent company over the boat. I gotta stop. Stop y'all. Leave her alone. Okay. Summer, you gotta go over there. Go, go to the couch. All right, sorry. <laughs> Definitely understand. So, and, and with that comes balance. Like, you guys have to balance children, balance ministry, balance work. You guys both work. Y'all both have kids. Can you guys hear us? Yeah, we yeah, hear you. We Can you hear us? Are you guys, are you, are we losing you? Y'all there? I see him blinking. Can you hear him? Right. Better, <laughs> yes. Yeah, we, just, we are just doing that. I'm like, they're blinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I know the screen ain't froze. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so with the balance, like with the life of every you know business that you guys have going on how tell us how to balance because we're getting yeah. into all of that right now like yeah. we have right um we work we both work we have three children homeschooling for mm -hmm. the most part um right you know, yep. then we have the podcast i have a graphic business courtney has music and then we have ministry where we're both heavily involved with our church right. and none of it is something that we we're not letting go of any of it you know we right. want right. to do everything that we're doing wholeheartedly how do you mm -hmm. balance go first yes <laughs> so we balance i think it started with us being able to say no so before we went full-fledged doing everything we had a no ready for everybody <laughs> no <laughs> Even for things that we wanted to do, our answer was always first no and then yes later. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if somebody said, hey, man, I want to go to the studio. I need some music, X, Y, and Z. I'm like, hey, man, listen, I'm pretty busy. I'll let you know. I'll get back to you. So essentially no, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I would come home, speak to my wife and say, hey, here's my plans. You know, what? what's your schedule looking like in October? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think the communication piece and knowing how to delegate priority with other people because people so right. quick to throw demands on you especially when you have a gift or a talent you know if, you, if you're a musician you're getting gigs left and right if you're an event coordinator you're going to be getting calls right so right if you don't know how to say no there's no way you're going to be able to do everything so that's step one say no <laughs> <laughs> and don't be afraid of not being like don't be afraid you yes. know what I'm saying and I had to learn that because I was like, oh, yeah, I can do that. And then didn't realize right. that he has a session with somebody right. or I have to be at cheer practice. Right. And right. now I'm just double booked. So him really teaching me have that no ready. And it's not to be rude. It's not to be me. It's boundaries. It's just boundaries. That's right. Good. Right. Good. And truthfully, these four people in this house, our stuff comes first. Right. And as you guys know, we were heavily involved in our church as well. Our church is a very, as you guys know, a very busy church. Right. Yeah. And we were adjutants on top of that. So, you know, just imagine having to be at <laughs> church on Wednesday and, you know, getting off from work. Because we still work too. Yeah. Guys, right. we're 24-7, you yeah. know. Right. We're, they never close. <laughs> never. 
Mm -hmm. So just like he said, having to know, ready, and two, Bishop Sanders taught us this, Derica, and I'm sure he said this when you were there, Courtney. Do not trust your memory. Write it, write it down. It down. Yes. Do you hear me? I write no, down. Taught me that. I taught him that. <laughs> I got five yeah. notebooks, <laughs> Courtney. Yes. That's like a fair balance. Of like, I'm like, say no. Until we figure out how to control this thing, say no. And then she yeah. responded back to me. It's like, when I find something that I do, absolutely want to do, let's write it down. Yes. Right. Right. So and those I are two easy steps. Down everything. Literally oh, yeah. everything. Yeah. I mean, I have planner after planner. We got a wall calendar right. in the kitchen. We got one in our bedroom. I got the planner in my purse. I got the planner on my phone. Right. I write down every single thing. I don't care how yeah. small it is. It's getting written down <laughs> after the no. And then after I probably. After the no. After the no. <laughs> after right. the no. Do y'all have um, like so that's a pretty much how we do it. Especially, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Do you have like a certain threshold of like events that y'all will accept for like a certain time period? Say it one more time. Hold on. Summer. Summer oh, about gosh. to get a spanking, y'all. Uh oh. Don't whoop the baby. Girl. Look, y'all y'all whoop her. Don't whoop her. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. What you say? Do y'all have like a certain like threshold or like a uh, an amount that like y'all are cap at that y'all will uh, essentially accept? Yes, within, like, bro. Yes, we, we we definitely do. Like for example, um. When it came down to determining that threshold, I had to ask Courtney some hard questions. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. I had to ask her some hard questions. Like, for example, I said, what's your minimum? What's the mm -hmm. cheapest that you'll do what you do for? Mm -hmm. She didn't even have a minimum. Because I would just do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, in my landscape. That's so business, crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In my landscaping business, in order for me to get that up and running the way it is now, I had to, like, when I first started, when I was a teenager, I was knocking on doors and pushing my lawnmower. Uh -huh. And people were giving me giving me like bought up five dollar bills. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You right. get what I'm saying? I'm getting outside. Right. And I'm Build your clientele. Five dollars. <laughs> that's right. an hour. That took this. I took that. Right. So that's when I created my minimum, and it helped me launch my business even better. So with her, even though she was operating because she had connections and she went to school with yada yada yada, mm -hmm. she was good at what she does. On the business end, she was just saying yes to everybody, no matter what they were offering. Yeah. So don't look at me. That threshold became. <laughs> don't look at me neither. So like, it's like, I mean, of course you got to do what you got to do. Like, if your confidence is not at the point where you're like, okay, I can charge this. Maybe you have to have a few people who you give the benefit of the doubt to. Like, we had the just lead us. We would just use discernment for certain connections to say, I. My minimum is this, but I'll do this. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Like for me, especially if, if somebody wanted to communicate and at least negotiate with me, I'll more than likely go down all the time. You get what I'm saying? Um, but that's how we determine our show by having that note ready, writing everything down, having a minimum in place. And it became stuff that started to wean itself out. Yeah. We didn't yes. have to try so hard to keep a I balance. Agree. It started happening on its own because of our preventative measures. Mm hmm. I'm learning the hard way um, of letting free. things wean themselves out because I had to say no, like not in a way of, I don't want to do it, but okay. Now you're really asking me to do all of this, a five page website for 50 bucks. Can y'all hear us? Okay. okay. Yes, yeah, it's yeah, choppy, yeah. but we can hear you. We're working it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so like I've had to learn how to say no. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten to my minimum yet. But I'm working on it. <laughs> right. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah, break it down. How much time do you have to put into it? Right. How much energy is it going to take? How much time is it taking away from your family? Mm -hmm. And then right. what's going to really make it worth it? What's going to really, if you have to go away for three hours, what is going to make those three hours worth it to Courtney? You come back and say, babe, I know I was gone for three hours. Right. <laughs> but look, this is what I got. That's how you'll be able to determine what that minimum is. Because you're like, so you telling me, babe, if I'm gone for three hours and I come back with $300, <laughs> that, that that's enough? That. And he, he, if he say, yeah, then $100 an hour is your minimum. Period. Right. Right. So that yeah. means that free background vocals ain't enough. I mean, I mean, it's 2021. Right. <laughs> Right. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna give it to you. They're not gonna give it to us. But I get it though. It's like 
I actually, I actually started typing my writer the other day. Amen. I did. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I did. You know, could be a, there could be a strategy in place. You know, if you got an upsell strategy where you're like, okay, I'm going to always do these for free because I can do this in my sleep. Uh-huh. But I'm going to always mm-hmm. try to land this as a result. So I do a free background vocal, but I offer to do the remix for free or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I stopped doing background vocals. I don't have time. I can't. It, it is a lot of dedication because you got to think about the rehearsals that go into yes. it. Right. You know, the, the time that you take in at home to learn the material before you get to the rehearsal. Yeah. There's right. a lot to go into it. It is. Bro, so, it like, is. we realized early on that we were time poor. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, we mm-hmm. really just did not have time to say yes to everybody. Mm-hmm. So, unfortunately, Jesus. the background vocals were just like, you're the weakest link. Right. <laughs> Goodbye. Like you have to That's go. The weakest thing. <laughs> For real. It's just like we want we went through that list. Yeah. And once it got to the background vocal part, like, just I like, can't do that. Maybe no this more. is something that you have to give up for now. And we'll come like music, my my mindset with music is that it never goes out of stuff. Never. So I will be back, but just because right now I can't right. do that. She could be sixty doing Absolutely. background vocals. Ain't nobody gonna know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's why I be like, okay, we can push it to the back burner mm-hmm. and we'll come back to it. Right. I want to give a quick shout out to the Studleys who are watching. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Studleys. Hi. Hi. Yes. Up, they are all the way from Seattle. Yes. Different time and zone. We, okay. Yes. They'll be guests on our shows in March. And listen, when I say God created connection, Man. Well, yes. see? God created connection. Crazy. God created connection. So I just wanted to shout them out. They said that they was watching. So hey. What's hey up, y'all. y'all. This is the Night <laughs> Enterprises. So yeah. if you need some stuff, go to their website. Yeah, reach out. Yes. Sure. We're going to put it in the comments. So <laughs> parenting and co-parenting. Jesus. How do you guys? <laughs> Man. So like in, in business wise or, you know, like day to day stuff, how do you guys communicate who will do what or who need, you know, who, who I need you to do this or, you know, can you help me with this? How do you guys communicate that? Right. Yeah, so with the co-parenting situation, I really do thank God for that because it's literally a breeze. It is literally a breeze, and for you know, most, for, for the, the most for part. the most part, it is a, a breeze. Like 90 percent. Ninety percent. Yeah, it's really a breeze, and I thank God because Cinco's mom, she is so willing to just literally let me be me and let me pretty mm-hmm. much do what I do as if. I carried single for the nine months. Right. So we started that right from the jump. Right. From the very jump of me and Alan being friends. Not that I was trying to come in and be his mom right from us being friends to dating to fiance to mm-hmm. wife. Right. From the beginning, we just made it very clear. Well, he made it clear like, hey, this is my girlfriend. She will be around. Right. And anybody that knows me for real, no, I'm just like, oh, hey, yeah. how are you? Right. Oh, I like your hair. Like, that I mean, that's just easier, my personality. That made it easier on me. Yeah. <laughs> that she naturally had a spirit that was welcoming and infectious. Yeah. So all I had to mm-hmm. do was pretty much, you know, navigate bringing them together at the right time. Yeah. And then just letting her know, hey, listen, I'm really serious about this relationship. <laughs> so just to let you know, a lot of our communication is going to be through her. And we did that fairly early uh, on. Very early on. We have a group chat with the three of us. I don't talk to his mother directly at all. You know what I'm saying? It's all in the group. And that's one that's way we really respectful. just yeah. kicked co but That is very like, definitely. Real. It's just like. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely. Like, and we, not a lot of people do that. You heard me? Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'll be honest. I don't do it. You know, like, yeah. My, uh, Michaela's father and I, we talk, you know, right. but they have a friendship. They have, you know, when they see each other, they speak. But right. we've never, I've never even took it, taken that into consideration. L- look at it like, this way. It's it. like, it's almost like what they say, tell the truth, shame the devil. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and I've always been one person to try and tell on myself before anything is right. ever revealed. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So the group chat keeps me honest because I can say, it's in the group chat. Right. You right. Know? Check the receipts. There's no he say, she say, none of that. It's like, it's all mm-hmm. open communication. So, no. And even with, Michaela is 14. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is she 14? Yes. Uh-huh. Michael is nine. I remember when Michaela was 
porn, okay? Like <laughs> she's 14. <laughs> but even with Cinco being nine, with we have our own parent group chat, and then we have one, us three and him. So he is also comfortable with how we interact with each other. That's Just great. so That's you know, because sometimes kids don't have that outlet and you know, they don't want to feel like I don't want Cinco to ever feel like he has to do with me over his mom. Like right. we're both we're both in your corner. Like we both are for you. So I feel like also involving him in the co-parenting e equation also helps make it be a lot smoother, you know, that's than awesome. the rah, rah, rah type of relationship. Right. Yeah, that's great. Kudos. And I, I, you guys are teaching, dropping <laughs> some nuggets for sure. You know, like we ah! have, right. we haven't gotten baby, daddy, husband drama, you know, like we've always been pretty cool. We've had our disagreements, um, but I always am the middle person, you know, like if there's something right. that's going on with Mark, I'll have a conversation with Court and tell him what's going on, but then I'll handle it. I guess that's the like type A in me. Yeah. Right. right. I, I'm trying. It's going to take No, you got time. it, sis. It's, you know what? It's You're doing like, it. You make the decision that like I had to decide at some point that my, my son's mother would get the short hand of the stick. She she's gonna get yeah, the short hand. Absolutely. And once I was okay with that, that I can never appease her situation over my spouse's having a group chat as annoying as it can be sometimes. <laughs> he be annoying. Yeah. I mean, I mean what's going on? Coming I had, over? I had to sneeze it because they talk so much in there. I'm like, <laughs> <"Listen."> <laughs> like okay. That, that, that might be like my pet peeve, and, and I found that out this past year. I can't stand a group chat. Yeah, they, they, are they alone. They alone. Oh, so, man, bro. So, like, do gender roles exist in your home? Like, do you feel like uh, you gotta do yes. the laundry, he gotta do the, the trash? And... You I would say would, yeah. I would say they don't, but they do. Okay. You can't get That's it. a good question. They do, but they don't. We can't get that. We gotta say this. <laughs> Elaborate. Okay, if you would say yes, I would say no. But ain't that a part of the mission? <laughs> Listen, when it comes to parenting and it comes to household mm -hmm. stuff, I don't think... I think That's a part of the mission, right? Are, yes. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Some things are definite on him and on me. Yeah, but I feel like sometimes, like when it comes to parenting, the man, I'm not going to say you, I'm going to say the man, <laughs> thinks that it has to be the woman to go check on the baby when they're crying. I'm, I'm, that no, I'm about to check on the baby. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm about to go That's him to too. What? That if the baby is crying, you you feel like I should go check on her. And I'll look at it too. Like, <laughs> you go look at it. <laughs> He will. But it's Listen. like, I don't know. I, I'm better with kids. Though. Even though I have that expectation on her, I'm better with kids. So, like, when we have sleepovers, I'm Uncle Allen full of fat. He show is because I'm when going in the like, room. When it comes down to um, <laughs> cooking, having food, like, right. When we first met, we got married. Mm -hmm. When we got married the first like year or two, I was having When it came to cooking, I was struggling. Bro. I'm like, Courtney, please get in the kitchen, do something. I don't know. Put the water <laughs> yeah. on something. You get what I'm saying? So that's, yeah. that's why I would say yes, gender roles matter because I really was looking for you know for her to make dinner, do lunch. I was not trying to be in the kitchen at all. Same thing with trash. If she was taking a trash out, I'm like, what are you doing? Get right. Trash. I ain't taking no trash so out. So I got some of those traditional ways in me. <laughs> so. Same. Yeah, that's definitely the truth. Like, we have some stuff. Um, when it comes to the trash, if I need to. Uh oh, brought up will. again. It's freezing. We got a, a little bit. Spectrum. <laughs> Girl, let's right. talk got, about it. For real, we need to get something else. <laughs> Both of us. I am so over it, so over it. But we trying to kind of find a balance. I don't really know how it's COVID threw it all through a loop. For See, sure. you know what? I would say COVID out? helped me because with working and having to do dinner, it helped. Yeah. 
Really? A are lot. you working from home? We are, yes. We are too. And the kids is here. Yes. Well, Summer, you know, she goes to Auntie Linda two, th two almost want to be three days. Yes, week. tomorrow. Courtney, about here. Tomorrow. Summer, too. Right? That's That's right. Right. That's That's right. Right. Thursday and Friday. So I have been trying to balance, but it's hard because, like, we're just learning. Like, I got a promotion. Courtney started a new position. So, and we have right. all of the businesses that are on schedules. So it's hard to kind of figure out a new schedule, right. but we're learning. And we outnumber. It's mm -hmm. more kids than us. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Facts. And that's we what I was about. Y'all you know, you, your situation, you got three kids. So right. Having a, you know, trying to find that balance, I can only imagine. So <gasps> I hear you. Pray for us. Pray for us. <laughs> 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 Always. For real. <laughs> but we love you guys. We not listen. We we will keep you guys for an hour, but we know you got the kids up, and we hear our kid up too. <laughs> but I want to know: <laughs> Are there any nuggets that you guys can drop more than you guys already have because Man, you helped us absolutely so much? And I'm sure that everybody that has thank, thank you. you. <laughs> um, I'm sure that you guys <laughs> have. Um, helped out everybody that has jumped on this live, but I'm gonna give y'all some time. Leave yeah. leave us some nuggets. Any shameless plugs well, that y'all might wanna put? Any shameless plugs, okay. So of course you can go to our website, yes. www.night.enterprises. That is the website. It's not .com, not .org, it's www.night.enterprises. Right. Something unique, something different. People don't really I like have it. like the dot enterprises. So right. we just thought it was unique because we wanted it to be exactly, you know, what exemplify what our business. Right. Um, of course, our son has a new single out. It is Watch and Go Go, and the single is called Go Go Go. So if you have not went to download that, it is literally everywhere. So go and check so, that ooh, out. Oh, matter of fact, you can ask Siri. Oh yes, you can. Yeah, say, <laughs> really? Say hey Siri, uh, okay. play Watch Single Go, and she'll do it. Yes. So oh, yeah, yeah. we worked very hard on getting his music out, and again, he's only nine. Right. He writes his own stuff. That's I'm grateful up. that you know Al is a producer, and he produced all of the music. So I'm grateful for that. And if we need something, Courtney, I'm definitely gonna be hitting you up. Yeah, because... we, need, we need man. Let's leave. <laughs> let's do it. Let's yes, do it. Definitely. And of course, Summer is here. She has her all of hey, her some, stuff. Some. Hi, Summer. Hi, baby. <laughs> she was reaching out to her. The whole, whole like interview was like this. <laughs> That'd be Courtney all the time. Summer, hold me. Girl, we are busy right now. Right. But I'm glad you're here, Summer. Um, She's also in base. Matter of fact, she just had a billboard drop today. Right, um, right on... Kensington. Kensington, yes. yes. Kensington and William Gator, literally right there. Um, she's doing very well in gymnastics. She wants to be a dancer and a chef when she grows up. So our work is cut out oh, there. Oh. And of course, you know, we just still this working full story. time, running our business full time. Um, if any nuggets that I can drop, and this is what we use in our own life and with our business, we always tell each other, if we are going to embark on a new endeavor, we need to be our own clients first. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wait, hold on. That's huge. That's huge. That's, that's, that's huge. crazy. Huge that really because is. people, I mean, be really jumping out there doing X, Y, and Z, but won't do it for themselves. And that's what's dope about y'all. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. have your own podcast. Mm -hmm. You putting you you stepping out front of what you believe in. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm yeah. saying? And that's how it should be. It should not be, you know, you a barber. You're right. And your head is catchy. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you, should, you should represent your brand. You should represent your brand. You should <laughs> Well, you got to be your own client first. That's be your one. own client first. We literally strive off that. Be your own client first. And of course, um, I always tell this to the kids. It's not pra it's not uh, practice makes perfect. It is, no. It's perfect practice makes perfect. Oh, yeah. That's right. Two nuggets. Yeah. And I learned that. You know, Ooh, that, um, when Tone came to refuge and I got a chance to go back there and sit with him and talk to him, he was like, and I... I will never forget this conversation. He was like, yo, yo, you're going to be a boss. Like, it's just something about you that's real bossy. Okay, okay so next. So, like, you're literally a boss. <laughs> he said, yes. <laughs> he said, 
it's not it's not practice makes perfect it is perfect practice practice makes perfect yeah and not that we strive for perfection but if you're gonna put something out there at least let it be you know period let it be right let it be let it come correct like not just throw out stuff so we really strive to pursue Mm -hmm. excellence again another nugget that we learned from our our bishop yes (laughs) pursue excellence until excellence is achieved and i strive to teach my children that me and my husband we built our relationship on that and that's pretty much what we do that's awesome i would say is um um (laughs) <laughs> she's still here <laughs> uh, so you pretty much just have as husbands you know you want to seek the Lord for vision um, or whoever can see you know if the, yeah. if the wife can see whoever can see see and mm-hmm. I credit a lot of our success to for you know to both of us being able to foresee what the Lord has for us and writing it down forecasting like um, our birthdays is our new year mm-hmm. so we don't wait for January our birthday's in November. Both of our birthdays are in November. Right after that time, we sit down, we see God, we pray, we fast, and we come up with a plan for the upcoming year. And yeah, that has know. saved mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of arguments. Mm-hmm. We can always resort back to what we wrote down. Say, did you remember that I said I was going to record a hundred songs right. in six months? You, know, you, you get them just as an example. <laughs> I know, I know. Like with my son, he has a single. And we know he's going to do a project of at least five songs mm-hmm. in total, right? Yeah. So it was like, when I said, hey, babe, I just booked some more studio time, there's no argument because she knows. I know we have to get these songs I'm done. I'm working towards five <laughs> right. songs. Right. You get what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. You know, whoever can see in the relationship, see, communicate, write it down, prioritize each other, have a no for other folk, a no first. <laughs> it's better to ask for forgiveness. Right. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say no. I talked to my husband, I talked to my wife. She said it's all good. And I, mm-hmm. that's that's pretty much it for me. One more nugget that you said that you probably over, not overlooked, but kind of, you know, just brushed past that you guys fast and pray together. Yeah. Yes. yes. That is so yeah. big. Ew. So Ew. big. Yes. Like, you know, me and Court, we do it, but we don't, we're not as diligent as we should be. Yeah, the discipline yeah. ain't there. Yeah, we're not as diligent. That's okay. As we That's be. okay. We had to get there. Let it happen organically. Like, this is how it would be. It's so, because I'm down with, I don't like to make it too deep. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because I just feel like God is in everything. You get everything. What I'm saying? So I just I let, agree. I literally just follow him, bro. Like, I don't yeah. make it, oh, babe, let's fast. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's just like having a relationship with God. I'll be like, you know what? I'm not going to drink soda. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give up soda for this month. And we'll do it together. And before you know it, That's great. my wife is giving up soda. Cinco? My son is yes. giving up soda. So it's, re- it's like that. We really just it's we don't organic. make it deep. Yeah. Exactly. Somebody will say something. You know what? Yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm about to stop watching TV for a month. Mm-hmm. And then I got to write this know, down too. <laughs> The whole family, right no, no TV, nobody's watching it just because one person spoke that unction. You know what? I'm going I'm to take a break from social media. Yeah. And then my wife yeah. would be like, yeah, me too. You know? And that's how we've been, been able to get our answers. Awesome. It's awesome. so funny because in our marriage, like, I'm good for a good worship. And I feel like being at home then made it something real, real serious, y'all. I will literally, right. I know my neighbor, the, I done broke the couch. I done stuck holes in the floor. Down. I'm not playing. I'm just, she's, I'm scared, not, she's scaring the children. I'm, scared the you. <laughs> I'm fine. I am oh, fine. Pray. So, she praises. Listen, <laughs> because I need stuff, I need God to do it, and He has been. And I'm just yeah. gonna give yeah. him what to do every single time. And I gotta tell y'all this. We um we we put our work truck in the shop today, and we had my mother in law let us use her car. And she, like, you can play DVDs in her car. So she's like, hey, y'all, watch the DVD. And I'm like, oh, like, you got a DVD. So I played the DVD. So, of course, she has Dorinda Clark Cole live in the car. So I'm watching it. I'm like, oh, you got to bring this in the house. Like, I got to watch this. I've never seen this before. So then the song was going through. And then I'm still here comes on. Yeah. He like, that's, that's of course, you want to hear too. that. All you want to do is worship. I said, you better know it. <laughs> you better know if it. If she hear a worship song, I'm going in. She gonna skip all the praise songs. She's going right to the worship. I'm like, can we can we play track one through eight? First? No, I'm going right to <laughs> Yahweh. Like, <laughs> I 
I want to hear the whole project. You can skip it right to the worship song. But I, yo, listen. That's dope. I I I forgot to talk about my favorite quality of Courtney. And I talked about it when oh. we talked about you guys um, a few weeks ago. Courtney does not have a problem. Well, what I watched when you guys got married, when you guys started dating, her circle shrunk. Yeah. And I value that. Sorry, guys. Sometimes it's Sorry so about hard. That. <laughs> so hard to cut people off. But it's no love lost. It's just, listen, I got things to do. I got an enterprise yeah. to run. Right. And... Oh my gosh, I love that about you. Like, I well, I appreciate that, that Derek. I, I, I really still, do. And my real ones, they still around. It's still there, right? It's like it almost right. like forced a lot of people to just kind of maturate with her. Yeah, I'm cutting you back because I'm married with kids. If you're not there, some of them have gotten married and gotten married. right. <laughs> That's another show. You get what I'm saying? So the ones that have maturated with her, they're still friends to this day. Right. Yeah. No love lost. Nobody is mad because nobody like, should be mad. Girl, how you doing? <laughs> oh, I just got married. Congrats. You know, now we can. Problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now we can relate on a whole new level because mm -hmm. when I cut you back, you didn't sit there and up about it. You saw what I was doing. And like we private about what we're doing. People right. know what we're right. doing. You know what I'm saying? You maturated with us. <clears throat> That's so, awesome. That's so. awesome. You guys, everybody on the on the live, these folks. It's lit on here too. Great, great, are doing great. big things, Man. doing big things. So I'm gonna be please. like y'all when we grow up. Yes. Thank God. Thank, Thank you, God. Lord. I'm only 25. Come on now. We want to be like y'all. Come no, on. Happy birthday, 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 birthday too. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> but we love you guys, and we <laughs> thank you guys so much love for too, joining yeah. us. Oh You're my welcome. God. Thanks for having us. Yes. Thank, thank you for having us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So, you know what to do, everybody. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. All that. Make sure you got all your notifications turned on. All that. Make sure y'all go that. and check out, you know, the, the website. What was it again? Night.Enterprises. www.night.Enterprises. Nice www yes. Absolutely. Go, go show love. And make sure y'all go and grab Cinco's new um, single that he got go, out. Go. Yeah, man. man. That's what's Tell up. Theory. So yeah. Sarah, she got it for you. Yes. All that. <laughs> she will do it. But thank this you guys. Appreciate y'all. All is fair and love and marriage podcast live. Stick with us. Because we going places. Have a great night. All right. Peace.